Hello guys, welcome to my new video and today I wanted to talk about my main or my healer choice for classic World of Warcraft and I've been delaying this video for a really long time because quite frankly I didn't know which healer I was going to play. I, as you can see, initially picked or I'm still playing Holy Paladin. Right now my Paladin is here, I think he's only level 40 which Again, as I'm doing this video, I'm actually on holidays, so I've been away for a week. I'll be back in the next couple of days. So I, ha I have been slacking on leveling my Paladin, but overall, I feel I made the right choice. Now, one of the reasons why I really delayed making this video, like I mentioned, is because I was this close, this close to trying to level my Priest. It's always that type of thing where, you know, grass is green on the other side type of thing where I get envious of a lot of the groups looking for spell cleave, looking for priest, looking for priest power ward shield, which is that, which is extremely strong in low levels and strong throughout the whole classic World of Warcraft, basically per year for priests in general. So I was a little bit envious, but at the same time, I think I picked the right choice. I've been enjoying my Holy Paladin, especially in dungeons. I've recently made... A decision to kind of go pure holy or at least spec into holy try and get my you know spell critical chance increase there is a difference between spell crit there's a weapon crit as well in classic but overall one of the main reasons i picked holy paladin i gotta say this talent is just insane illumination and probably a lot of people who are playing holy paladin are really enjoying this talent after getting a critical effect from your uh, flash light or holy light or holy shock Heal spells gives you a 100% chance to gain mana equal to the base cost of the spell. Meaning that the more crits you have, you're going to get the mana back. So it is an insanely strong talent that is going to scale really well the more spell crit you get. And the more spell crit you're going to get is mainly from intellect itself. Because intellect is going to increase the mana. And on top of that, it increases the chance to score a critical hit with spells. So... Paladins are only going to get better and better with this talent. And I feel this talent is, you know, a lot of people will say that stick with your Holy Paladin. Maybe at the very start, phase one, you know, you might not have enough crit. You might not get that much mana back. But later on, with better gear, this talent is going to give you so much mana. You're going to be the most efficient healer out of anyone. And I feel that is true. And I honestly... It's one of the reasons why I started playing Holy Paladin because I love being efficient. On top of that, I love being a hybrid class with these crazy powerful buffs. So right now it's Blessing of Wisdom and Blessing of Might, which is, you know, your bread and butter for a lot of the classes or a lot of the five-man dungeon spam, you'll be using that. But on top of that, you have a lot of other spells like Blessing of Salvation is extremely, extremely strong in raid scenarios. It is actually one of the reasons the Make Alliance a strong raiding faction because of this blessing of salvation because remember you don't have holy paladins or paladins on horde you have shamans instead but overall holy paladin gameplay a lot of people will say is simplistic a lot of people will say classic class rotation is very simplistic but paladins only have really couple of spells to deal with and that is holy light and also flash of light and flash of light is probably going to become your bread and butter in the raiding scenarios where you're going to be using different ranks of flash of light and you know flash of light crits you get the mana back from elimination talent great amazing super efficient and then right now holy light is that slow heal that's gonna heal for a lot but it's somewhat inefficient but i may end up using flash of light or holy light a lot in dungeons at this point because it's the only heal that's gonna really heal up a tank you're going to have to cast a lot of flash lights before you can heal up a tank and sometimes they might even die before it, depending on how big of a pulse you're doing. Right now, my experience in classic in terms of 5-man dungeons is definitely AoE spam. And the tank pulls the whole room and they're getting hammered. Like, I mean, they will die within a couple of seconds. So I need to spam Holy Light and make sure that they'll, they don't dip out of line of sight. If they're in line of sight, they're dead. So that's the type of content... That I've been experiencing as a Holy Paladin, but you know, the throughput, the effectiveness of the efficiency is pretty good. And you also provide insanely good buffs. I even forgot about the auras. Some of the auras are really, really strong. One of the reasons why I didn't pick a Restoration Shaman is because I heard a lot of things about totem management and being somewhat finicky to do with range and things like that. But 
it was a very close choice because I feel a lot of healers in Classic have their ups and downs and there's no clear winner in terms of, hey, this, this healing class is really strong for everything out there. Although, Holy Paladins, from what I've heard, are also very strong or extremely strong PvP healers. And I do want to do PvP. I do want to experience a lot of things in Classic that involves raiding, that involves Feynman dungeons, that involves PvP as well. PvP, I think, is going to be unlocked later in the later stages as well. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to, you know, spamming my flash of light <laughs> and never going oom or, you know, being extremely efficient when comparing to other healers. Again, the reason why I mentioned Priest at the start, because I was really thinking about re-rolling to Priest, because Priests just have more variety. As a Paladin, you don't have an AoE healing ability. You only have an extremely good single target healing, which can be somewhat bland for a lot of people, because Priests at least have Prayer of Healing, which, again, only heals the party, but it is, you know, a choice that they can make. They have Power or Shield, which is, again, used a lot in these AoE dungeon spams. It's one of the main reasons why a lot of these groups will be looking for a priest to, you know, put a shield on them. The mages will AoE everything down and because they have a shield on them, they won't get hit, they won't get dazed and they'll be able to AoE spam everything. Now, that's only in the low levels. I'm sure in pretty, in, in other high level dungeons, but I feel Holy Paladin is going to do really, really well in end game content or in further content. Besides that, you also have a ton of seals to manage and I feel... The seals are actually pretty interesting because every seal has a different component and on top of that they have a different component to when you use a judgment. So if I use my seal of wisdom and if I judge a target, that target is going to get a seal of wisdom applied on them and everyone who hits him has a chance of getting refunded mana, which is really cool. Something similar happens to seal of light but instead of mana it, it's going to heal people. So Again, it kind of only works with melee, sw melee swings and melee strikes. So Seal of Light is mainly for melee heavy comps. But raids do tend to have a lot of melee. And there is an argument made about do you want to use a slot or deep of slot for it. But because Classic is using 16 and I'm assuming from what I remember the original vanilla only had 8 deep of slots. With 16 deep of slots you should be able to squeeze in Seal of Light or Seal of Wisdom. Depending on what your raid leader says. And Seal of Wisdom and Seal of... Uh, seal of light and seal of wisdom are very strong and you know they can be they can be a good part of the raids utility or five man's utility as well there is a chance of me to spec into lasting judgment which is going to increase the duration of your judgment of light and judgment of wisdom by 10 seconds which makes it easier to manage i'm still not sure if i'm gonna go with this route there is because i already kind of reached my holy tree i'm not gonna spec into holy shock because i feel it's somewhat inefficient a lot of people tend to skip holy shock holy shock is not what it's like in bfa there is no glimmer holy shock is really not that great in classic you have a choice of going into protection tree you have a choice of trying to get blessing or sanctuary you have a choice of going into retribution tree as well i'm not sure which way i'm gonna go yet so i'm kind of keeping my points here for the time being because respecting i've already respect so many times respecting is really 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 expensive but if you're watching this video and you're wondering should I go Holy Paladin, Holy Paladin is a very simplistic healer to some extent, but it does have its, you know, there is depth to gameplay depending on line of sight with the tanks and things like that. But majority of the time it is flash of light, especially in raid scenarios. In 5 man dungeons, I still end up using a lot of holy light, depending. You still have the five second rule, which in five months you can get away with. In raids, I'm not so sure yet, depending on how your group is gonna go with. But it's a type of healer that is by far the strongest single target healer and it's gonna be super super mana efficient later down the line once you get to pick up more spell crit your illumination this talent is gonna really really make your hybrid healer super efficient and on top of that you're providing insane buffs for the rest of the party now keep in mind at this level i only have blessing of wisdom blessing of might and all the other blessings at five minutes so i actually have them key bind it because it is part of my rotation right now five minutes is really not a long time depending on how long it takes you to do five man dungeons but it's something that i always have to keep an eye out so it is somewhat annoying again paladin is very comparable to resto shaman resto shaman has totems a lot of the resto shaman totems are very very similar to what paladin provides you'll be able to get greater blessings and those blessings are going to last 15 minutes but you need to buy additional supplies to be able to do that but Again, 15 minutes is good enough. I'll live with 15 minutes. 
it's not too bad managing who buffs what is going to be a little bit annoying not too much but again that's the price that you pay for being one of the best hybrid classes in terms of the buffs that you provide on the alliance side and on top of that you're probably going to be regarded as the best single target healer the most efficient single target healer you're going to be regarded as one of the best pvp healers as well so the life is really not bad as a holy paladin in terms of leveling uh leveling <laughs> i i've been leveling as holy for the last bit i mean you do have consecration which again is relatively inefficient and i don't get to use it too much in dungeons because i'm scared of my mana i was leveling as retribution for a really long time and red was actually pretty decent it's really not that bad if you if you get those juicy crits and things like that but definitely holy paladin it's a lot of auto attacks you apply your seals a lot of the times you will be applying seal of righteousness if you go red you'll probably get seal of command then you'll be applying that based on your weapon speed a lot of the times you'll have to read the speed of your weapon if your weapon is quite slow you'll probably try and get seal of command and if it's kind of fast you're going to try and look for seal of righteousness depending of course on what ranks you have or what level you are and things like that but overall leveling is definitely somewhat slow you are very safe leveling as in you can heal yourself you have multiple things to protect yourself you have bubble bubble is amazing you have blessing of protection it's amazing it does apply for barons so keep that in mind you can't have you can't bubble and you can't bop yourself right after you have this debuff you have forbearance so keep that in mind but unlike bfa you have layer hands and layer hands does not give you forbearance so you have like two health resets you can bubble heal yourself and then if you're still dying you can lay your hands to yourself as well and that's not going to apply for bearings either and then a minute later you can use bob so depending on who you or who's trying to gank you you're pretty much unkillable for a lot of the times so if you've played safely but again the leveling experience is pretty slow but i do recommend players to play paladin once you get through the leveling stage once you pick up more gear this class might not be for you if you're looking for a more well-rounded healer who can aoe heal who can single target heal who has hots who, who have a wider toolkit but i like being the hybrid god i like being a strong single target healer and i can't wait for illumination to really to really pick up in term of, terms of its power when i get more spell crit thank you guys for watching this video i would really like to hear what is your main healer what healer you think is the best for your playstyle and why you pick them let me know guys and i'll be back in the next couple of days i'm having a first holiday in, in years it's the first big holiday in years so i'm really trying to enjoy myself i'll be back in the next wednesday i think so let me know guys i'll try and read all the comments thank you and i'll see you in my next video